The 101 Cardinals getting ready to host the reigning Super Bowl champs, the Los Angeles Rams. Alongside tight end Max Williams, I'm Danny Sarek, and this is Sideline Exchange, presented by Hyundai. Max, very exciting, thrilling overtime comeback win that this team is coming off in week two in Vegas. However, still plagued by a slow start. In the first two games, just a combined seven points in the first half. What changes need to be made offensively to have a faster start? You know, I think uh, Cliff and Kyler said it. We're a rhythmic team. We want to get on our rhythm, and really it's one of those we have to go out and execute early on in the games, and we have to get in our rhythm like we want to be as an offense. I think in the second half in the Raiders, we finally found out what our identity wants to be and how we want to get in that rhythm. So really for us, I think it's just going out there and starting fast right away. You are very familiar not only with your divisional opponent, but also with three-time defensive player of the year, defensive tackle Aaron Donald. In week four last year when the Cardinals beat the Rams, he did not record a single sack, tackle for loss, or quarterback hit. So this team knows how to yeah. shut him down. How do you do it again? You know what, I think it's, uh, it's props to him that teams have to account for him. Obviously Aaron Donald is a uh, once in a lifetime talent out there. So really you gotta, you gotta know where he is on the field and really it comes down to that execution thing where we know what we have to do to protect Kyler when he's on the field. So it's going out there and trusting your guys next to you to do your job and get it done. When it comes to protecting, Kyler Murray and also wearing down Donald in this defense in the run game. As a tight end, blocking is very important in that aspect. For you, how is the mental preparation knowing you are going to be asked a lot against a very stout defensive front? Yeah, I think uh, I think that's what we're doing this week. It's always the preparation leading up to the game days where you get that hard work in and get confidence up for the game. But really it's on Sunday when you're out there on the field, you, you gotta you gotta do your job. Like I said before, is you work all week to get to that moment to be ready for it. When the lights are on, that's when you have to perform. And that's the fun part about this game is we have the opportunity to go out every Sunday and play this kids game for fun. And it's fun for us, so that's how we do it. Last time these two teams met was in the playoffs last season. Cardinals lost by 20 plus points. I know you weren't playing because you won IR with your knee injury. However, this team as a whole, how much is there still a bad taste from that game being used as motivation this week? I mean, I think obviously that game didn't go how anyone wanted, especially for me. I was at home on the couch with my knee injury and everyone else has been thinking about it since it happened. So finally, it's that first chance we get at our home field to get that rematch against them. But I think for our team, especially our room in the offense, is this is just the next week. There's still a lot of games left this season. So take the motivation of knowing what happened in the playoffs, put everything we can into this week and then the outcome's the outcome. We'll do our best and see what happens. This team has found success on the road, dating back to last season, getting your first road win in week two. What needs to happen to carry that success into State Farm Stadium? You know what, we always preach you got to win at home. And uh, obviously we haven't done that recently as many times as we want to. And thankfully this Sunday we get another opportunity to go out there and do our best. So really I think it's a pride thing for us knowing that it's our home field, our home fans our home stadium that we want to go out there and, and play our best. And that goes back to starting fast and just everyone doing their jobs and taking it one play at a time. That next opportunity comes from State Farm Stadium, a 125 kickoff when the Cardinals host the Rams. For Max Williams, I'm Danny Sarek. Thanks so much for tuning in to Sideline Exchange.